So I'm back out here in the garage because I wanted to show off my latest creation. Um, this I designed this um, probably over a year ago, but I really only got around to building it now. And um, me being lazy and everything, getting caught up by other stuff. So what I'm calling this is lift locker. And the easiest way to describe this is a, a wireless safety interlock. Essentially, what I got is two extension cords, standard issue extension cords that I put in in a series with it. I put a relay that is controlled by an Arduino, and that Arduino has a wireless radio, and both of these have the same setup, and then they have one additional sensor, which is a, a door... Uh, a door sensor so this is a use for security systems all the time just a magnet the other side is just a small little read read, read relay that opens and closes uh, within the proximity of the magnet so when the both sensors are closed the the uh, the extension cords are powered up you can see that and um, when you remove the sensor from this side the other one turns off. Put it back on, and he turns back on. And uh, the reason I did this is for my setup, which I have my car in here right now, but I have uh, a cathedral ceiling on one side of my garage for my four-post backyard buddy lift. And the big issue when dealing with this is uh, the garage door opens right up to where a car would be if it was actually on the lift. So I wanted a system that if I had the car up in the air, that it would sh turn off the garage door and prevent it from moving. That way I don't accidentally take a, a garage door into the car or likely, or the other way around is um, if I have the door up and I start to move the car up. And that's a bad situation. So this thing does it for me. I'll have one of these sensors on the garage door and then the other sensor on the lift. So when the lift goes up, garage door powers off completely, can't move. Put the lift back down, you can move the garage door. Garage door goes up, lift goes away. So that's just a peace of mind kind of thing. Um, and then for one additional things, because I do have situations where, like right now, where I pretty much just park my car underneath it during the winter months, and I park my street rod off to the side, um, that means I want the lift to be up and still use the garage door. So I added a bypass switch on it. So if this side is the garage door, I put this onto a manual bypass, and this will leave the garage door powered on all the time, no matter what. And likewise, then that uh, disables the uh, lift completely. So, of course, then you can do a manual bypass on this too. So then they just become elaborate extension cords. But I wanted the uh, next, uh, I'll take this guy apart and show you his construction um, before I install it on the in the lift in the garage door and test it up. Okay, so the basic construction is I used a, a, a contractor grade extension cord that has the nice neon light on the end so I knew when it was powered up. And I split it in half and inside this cast aluminum box I have a spark fun red board which is an Arduino Uno clone and then on top of it I have a spark fun uh, RFM 22 shield this includes the nice little RFM22 wireless radio that I have under there. And then a nice little uh, prototyping area, which is uh, an easy way to put all the extra circuitry I needed. So I did some wiring over to here so I can connect up my various LEDs with uh, current limiting resistors in there. And then also, a little hard to see in here, is a TIP120 uh, Darlington transistor. That guy is going to be responsible for driving the power into the relay. The, uh, the Arduino runs at 5 volts and cannot supply enough power to the relay itself. So 
I take from this uh, this 120 volt to uh, 12 volt DC power supply that goes into the Arduino. Then I also take that through this Darlington transistor into the relay in order to control the relay. Um, besides the LEDs, and I have a nice little front switch on it, and then the other sensor is just a an audio connector, uh, 3.5 millimeter, to um, one of these pre-made nice spot uh, security door sensors into a jack in the back here. This has an extra feature on it uh, besides making contact with ground when the relay closes. Is um, there is also an additional connector on here to tell me when it is actually connected. So if you disconnect the uh, sensor accidentally, it will also power off. Um, so I'm using a big chunky, I think this is like a 30 amp relay. It's more than overkill. And uh, that is about the, the majority of it. This is the antenna wire from the radio out to the side, just uh, wherever, going through these uh, cable glands. And that is the major construction. Fairly simple. Um, it still took about two afternoons to put together for both of them. Uh, not exactly the easiest thing in the world. But um, I wouldn't do this ever again. Mainly for two reasons. The primary is there are other things on the market that do all of this all together in pretty much uh, drop-in solution. There's a company called Sonoff that is selling a Wi-Fi enabled uh, relay that already has like a, a sensor jack on it. So it's very simple to wire up one of these uh, door sensors to it and you can program it um, over the Wi-Fi and then the two Wi-Fi radios can communicate to each other and it would be everything drop-in solution, no trouble at all. Um, the other solution, the other problem is, is uh, SparkFun discontinued these RFM22s fairly recently, so um, it's impossible to really reproduce this one, uh, unfortunately. But uh, I've been contemplating releasing the source code and the circuit diagram since there's no hope in this design going anywhere. If anybody's interested, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you about trying to put something together. And then, uh, all right, so next thing, I'm going to try and put this back together, put this on the lift in the garage door, and then see how it works. All right, this might make more sense now that I have the whole system installed and I can show you all the different pieces of it and what it's actually doing. So I got the, uh, the lift locker installed here in line with my uh, hydraulic pump for the uh, back here, buddy. And down here then, I have my magnetic sensor and he's set up there. Then we come over here to the garage door opener. So we have the other lift locker here. He's getting power in, then he is powering the garage door opener and the sensor is back around here. So as soon as the garage door comes up, it um, will uh, move the lift or uh, disconnect the lift. So I can power this guy up. That's plenty of distance to break the uh, magnetic sensor. You come over here. And the garage door opener has lost power completely. So we can actually test him. And we get nothing. Garage doors may remain stationary. So, not too bad. Um, Actually, I'm discovering two issues with it. I have a um, code in it that was a, a dead man code. So if um, if the lift locker didn't receive a message from the other side, it would disconnect. And I'm apparently getting enough radio interference so that it is occasionally doing that on its own. So I'm going to have to add in some code to try and filter that out. And then the other thing is, is it might be interfering with my other garage door opener. So I'll have to poke at it some more. First try.